Hey guys, what's up? It's Wenji. Welcome back and hugs. If you guys have been in the Wenji Corn family for a while, you will know that we went through a huge tragedy. It's almost been a year. We lost my little girl Mia. Ever since we lost Mia, I have felt that there has been something missing in the family. A little piece of me went away when she did and it got to a point where it wasn't healthy. I was literally looking online for cats that looked exactly like Mia. I just felt like I needed to replace her. I didn't know what else to do. I just literally had half of my heart missing after she went away. You know, I think it's been one year and I'm ready to open my heart up to a new little girl. When I saw this little girl picture and her feisty personality I was like I need her in my life let's welcome her to the family are we ready guys let's go pick her up here's the journey let's go but before we pick up Luna let me tell you about my family of cats my first cat was Mickey and I got him when he was super young I used to take him everywhere with me including to work and he used to sleep next to my keyboard while I was at my desk so adorable I even took him to my dance classes Mickey now lives with my parents so he has a very loving home then came Mia she was an elegant feisty and loving lady super outgoing and really like tradesmen whenever there was a muscly guy she was all up on him. I used to tell her to calm down. Rest in peace, Mia, my little girl. She's literally always with me and she stole my phone screen. Then came Bumba. He's a weirdo, but we love him. He's a Napoleon munchkin, loves food, and has the most expressive face I've ever seen on a cat. Basically, whenever there's food, there's Bumba. He will not let you off without feeding him. Lastly came Coco. This kitty has a big brain. He's so smart, super active as a kitten, very curious, and super loyal. He does the craziest thing in our munchkin challenges. He's always surprising me. He became Boomba's best friend, but Mia used to dislike Coco. Coco's current favorite toy is the shoelace and every morning he comes and greets us by sitting on my chest and waiting till I feed him. It is adorable. These three kitties form the munchkin family and together they do funny challenges and have some of the most fascinating reactions. You gotta watch them walk on ice. It was crazy. And now for the newest addition to the family. Luna. So we went to the pet store to pick up our new kitty, Luna. And when we arrived, we were greeted by a bunch of cute doggies and kittens. The dogs were so noisy, guys, and very, very friendly and overactive. And then the kitten corner was so calm and peaceful. At first, we didn't see Luna just yet, but then the store owner brought Luna out in her arms. And oh my gosh, guys, she was so cute. My first impressions of her were she has such a funny expression. I've seen videos of her prior and she was feisty, but she has this dopey look about her. I sat down on the chair with Luna next to me and picked her up. She was quite squirmy because she was curious about everything going on around her. Kind of shy but also loved when I was petting her. She was moving around so much and had some very cute poses. Her pattern reminds me of a wild cat. I feel like she has some bengal in her. She has like leopard spots on her belly and lines on her back. I think she is a wild child. She seemed quite curious and was looking around a lot. I love picking her up and hugging her, showing her around the pet store to meet the other cats. The other kitties were all sniffing and looking at her. It was so adorable. Not sure if they liked her, but they were definitely curious. And then there was this one kitty just sleeping and not really caring about anything. Such a peaceful and simple cat. Look Get it. And then Luna tried hissing at the other cats, but she hasn't developed her voice just yet. Quite cute. She be feisty. So basically this whole time Luna just wanted to jump off the couch and I was worried that she didn't like getting cuddles, but that's changed. She's still super squirmy though, gotta say. Now it's time to put her into the cage and bring her home. On the way back, she was quite timid, probably because all the new environments and people and she didn't know what was going on. I feel like it would make her quite anxious, but she wasn't loud. She was really quiet. When I took Bumba home, he would be yelling. I tried to comfort her by playing with her, but she just stared at me blankly. <laughs> Look at this expression. But oh my gosh, what a pretty kitty. I can't wait to introduce her to the Munchkin family. I just love her little ears and her expression. She's just kind of like, what? what do you want, human? I'm, I don't have time for you.
When we brought her home, she stayed in her cage and she was super curious as to where she was. But she didn't come out for such a long time, even though I coaxed her with treats, food and toys. This is normal for most cats because when they're in a new environment, they're usually quite anxious. I let her stay in the cage for some time and then I carefully picked her up and brought her out. Then she started exploring the room. She first went over to explore the kitchen, then she found Coco and Boomba's eating area and stopped to check it out. She was looking for leftover food to eat, I think. <laughs> and guys, at this point she probably realized there were other cats around. She then went exploring in a few other rooms but was super cautious the whole time. I feel like she is so shy at first. Then I used a toy to play with Luna and she became quite active. I was also using the toy to get her to walk around the house as well because she was kind of too scared to do it on her own. But the toy distracted her and made her like chase after it and she ended up in a new place so it worked out really well. Also, she has an interesting habit of standing a lot. Coco loves standing too, so maybe it's a Scottish full munchkin cat thing. And guys, I am here for it. Now it's time for Luna to meet the other cats. I placed her in a smaller room where she could be comfortable in. Then I left to find Bomba. When suddenly Bomba walks in and discovers a pink cage. Dun dun dun. If you guys want to watch what happens next when Luna meets Boomba and Coco, head over to Munchkin on YouTube. There you find more vlogs of Luna and fun cat challenges with the Munchkin family. Let's welcome Luna to the fam. Luna, this is my baby girl Luna. She's so cute. She just got desexed, so this is why she's wearing a little donut so she doesn't lick her wound. She's a bit squirmy. Say hi to the Winchicorn fam. Guys, she's so cute. She makes a lot of noise when she eats. She's like. She runs around like a little engine. It's so cute and she makes the cutest noises. I like a little engine, aren't you? Anyways, guys, this is Luna, my new little girl. So go down below and welcome Luna to the Winchicorn fam. All right, Luna, everyone's gonna welcome you. Everyone loves you already. Hey, baby. All right, time to go, guys. She's squirmy. Bye. Love you.